Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, I already uh, upload in the YouTube for the last chapter. It's the international economy. But suppose I have to upload this first, macroeconomic problem. But it's okay. Okay, you just refer your course information. Alright, so macroeconomic problem is actually is a very, very important topic. Okay, that you have to alert because they always asking you in the test. Okay, alright, if you are ECO415, of course you are having for two tests. We have test one and test two. Okay, alright, so what is a macroeconomy problems? If you refer back the macroeconomy objective, okay, uh, the problem that every country try uh, to improve is inflation. What is inflation? Inflation can be defined as an increase in the general price level as nowadays happen. Okay? When most prices of goods and services in economy increase, okay? When the COVID-19 happens, so what happened? Most of the price of goods and services in economy nowadays is increase. So the general price level will increase accordingly, okay? And this situation show the existence of inflation. Okay, if you okay try to understand, for every country they try to get or to achieve the zero inflation. Zero inflation means no inflation anymore, but it's impossible. Okay, it's impossible. Uh, to make sure the rate. Okay, to make sure the rate. Okay, you Google search how much the rate. Okay, uh, that the country. Uh, have to achieve their inflation. Alright. Okay, this is a calculation. You have to know how to calculate the inflation rate. Inflation rate is based on the CPI. CPI is a consumer price index. Okay, you just take the CPI current year, this year, okay, minus previous year, divide by CPI previous year, times with 100. So, it means that uh, if they asking you how much uh, the inflation rate for your country, you cannot say that it's a 1,000. No. Okay. But you have to say that our inflation rate for our country is 3%, 4%. It's in inflation rate. Okay. Uh, for inflation, we have two types of inflation. Okay. We have demand pool inflation. What is a demand pool inflation? It's a causes by excess spending. It means that, okay, all the people have more money, okay, but uh, there is a limited in the factors of production or limited in the supply, okay, and finally they will force the price to increase, okay. It means that demand pool inflation, the inflation happen is because of the exit in demand, okay. When the economy is near the full employment level, an increase in aggregate demand will increase the price level. Okay, so please find the, the diagram. And the second one is a cost push inflation. Okay, cost push inflation is the inflation happen because the increasing in the cost of production. And of course, uh, when we refer the increase in the cost of production, actually we are refer on the supplier. Okay, not consumer. Example, the price of raw materials or wages increase. So, when the price of raw material, because raw materials, okay, is used by the this firm to produce goods and services. And of course, when the cost of production increase, and finally, they will increase the price. Okay, alright. And make sure that you find the diagram for cost push inflation and demand pull inflation. Okay, next. What is the effects of inflation? When the inflation happen, what effect for the economy? Why everybody or every country so worry about the inflation? Okay, the first one is unequal income distribution between fixed income and flexible income group. When the price level increase, real income for fixed income group, example, government workers, will decrease. And finally, purchasing power of money decrease. Purchasing power means... Um, okay, the power of money to buy the goods and services. Okay, all right. For flexible income group, example businessmen, when the inflation happen, this is good for them. Okay, because 
they will earn higher income. What about the borrowers and creditors? Okay, when the inflation happens, the borrowers will gain, and the creditors will lose from the inflation. Okay, the creditors get less value of money in the future, but borrowers will pay back loan. Okay. With a lower value of lower purchasing power. Okay, so it means that uh, the situation okay, is not balanced. Some will lose and some will get the benefit. Okay, when the inflation happens, actually, they will discourage people to save. Okay, so it means that amounts of saving will decrease. And the last one is a deficit in balance of trade. Inflation will make the value of export to be much higher and import are lower. Okay? The value of export to be much higher. So total export will decrease because uh, for them or for our domestic people, it's too... Uh, it's not cheap. Okay? So they have to transfer their consumption to import product. Uh, so, this is not good for the country. Okay, and finally, they will affect the balance of trade, which is export and import, and we will get the deficit. It means that our import is more than our export. Okay, uh, for this chapter, we will learn about the inflation and unemployment. Okay, so first, you have to know what is the inflation, and then what is the type of inflation, and what is the effect of inflation. And now, the last one is, you have to know how to control the inflation by using policy. Okay? You have to refer back in the public policy chapter. So, I already discussed about this fiscal policy and monetary policy. Okay? But, to control the inflation, okay, for fiscal policy, as I said, that we have to use government expenditure and taxes. Alright? It means that we will increase the tax. Okay? When increase the tax available for spending decrease, that is a target for the government. Therefore, the consumer will reduce their spending on goods and services. Because um, the inflation, when the inflation happens, the consumer, they have a lot of money to spend. Okay? So, therefore, the government have to control by increase the tax. Okay? And then, uh, next is a monetary policy. Okay, we have several of tools. I already discussed in the public policy, you can refer it. So, how to control the inflation? To control the inflation, we have to apply the contractionary or tight monetary policy. Okay, it means that we have to reduce the money supply. Okay, because the money okay, in our economy was very higher. So, we have to reduce the amount. So, to reduce the amount... Okay, by use the monetary policy, we have to reduce the money supply. Okay, so this is a several of tools. First, increase the discount rate. Okay, next, increase the interest rate. And the third part is the op uh, operation uh, OMO, is a open market operation. Open market operation is a market which is we are buying and selling the government securities. Okay, so. In the inflation, when the inflation happened, okay, the government try to reduce the money supply, so the government will sell the government security. Okay, when the government selling the government securities, it means that you have to give the money to the government. Okay, this is how the government reduce the money supply in the economy. Increase the required reserve ratio. Reserve ratio actually is a portion, okay, that every bank, uh, they have to reserve in the uh, central bank, okay. So, when we increase the reserve ratio, it means the amounts of loan that they will give to the consumer or investor, it will be less, okay. And then increase special deposit by commercial bank and higher purchase regulation, okay, they will tighten. On regulation reduce the availability of credit given to consumer by impose strict regulations okay and the last one is a direct control 
Okay, finish on the topic of inflation. So now we continue with the unemployment. Okay, both of them is a problem to economy. Okay, so what is unemployment? Okay, first definition is unemployment exists when there is a people who are willing and able to work. But actually, they are unable to find a suitable job at certain level of wage rate. Okay, and this is the formula to get the total labor force. It's been uh, employed plus unemployed. Only include those people who are employed and also who are actively seeking for a job. The word active is very important. Okay, the pension people cannot add as a employment. Okay, how to calculate the unemployment rate? Unemployment rate is unemployment divided by total labor force and then you times with 100. So, when they're asking you how much unemployment rate for your country, you cannot say that our, our uh, unemployment rate is uh, 5,000 nowadays. No. Okay, you have to say that our unemployment rate nowadays is 6.2%. Okay. All right. Uh, type of uh, unemployment is a very very famous question. Okay, we will asking you in the test. Okay, at least you know four types of unemployment. So the first one is a frictional, frictional unemployment. Frictional is refer to the graduate. Okay, graduate. All right, who just graduate and then start searching for a job and then those who quit from the job and looking for new jobs include in the frictional unemployment. So this is what we call frictional. Okay, sometimes they need more time to search uh, for the new job. Okay, because uh, based on their qualifications. And then next is a structural unemployment. Structural unemployment is the unemployment occur when there is a change in the structures of the economy. Okay, example, before this, we are most on the industrial or manufacturing. Okay, but now the structures of economy change. Now is we call as a digital economy. So everything was on electronic, less uh, workers, okay, but more on robotic. Okay, all right. So when this happened, the structures of economic change, so we will increase the unemployment rate. Okay, there is a, some people. Okay, they was lost. Uh, they they will lose the job. All right, because uh, maybe not suitable with their skills. All right, and then sometimes uh, there is a mismatch between skills of workers and skill required at the workplace. Okay. Uh, maybe nowadays uh, they need more digital people, okay, more electronic people, more on people who know how to use the internet, okay. But if you less skill on that, so you are not suitable with the requirement, okay. And so finally, you are the one who are un unemployed. The third part is a classical unemployment. Classical is the unemployment caused by a decrease in aggregate demand due to a change in business cycle. Okay, as you know that we, we have a circulation in economy. It means sometimes the economy is was up, sometimes the economy was down as nowadays we are in the recession. Okay, so uh, this unemployment will occur when this happens. Okay, and then the last part is a seasonal unemployment. Seasonal unemployment occur when the certain product cannot be produced during a certain season or period. So therefore, many people are temporarily unemployed during this season. For example, okay, during a uh, raining season or monsoon season, it's a very dangerous for fishermen to perform their job. And finally, on that season, they will be unemployed. Okay, why unemployment so a uh, problem okay, uh, for every country in this world? Okay, what is the effect of unemployment? First, output produce is less than potential output. Okay, because of we are not fully utilized our employment. And second, social problem. 
Okay, because un if the unemployment rate was increased and the government not control, and finally it will cause lots of social problem to the society. Example, illegal activities, taking drugs and others to overcome stress to cope with the financial problem. Okay, if uh, the inflation, okay, we use the fiscal policy and monetary policy uh, tools to overcome this problem. So, of course, the unemployment also same. Fiscal policy, you just use government GNP. Okay, if you've got the unemployment, it means that your economy is, is recession. No money in economy. So, we have to add money. Okay, to add money, so government expenditure will increase and the taxes will reduce. Expansionary uh, fiscal policy. And the second one is monetary policy. Okay, same tools as the inflation, but different way. It means that now we are focused to increase the money of supply. Okay, to increase the money of supply, so we will reduce all the rate. Okay, discount rate, interest rate, okay, to make that everybody have a money. To make a consumption.